Sao Paulo, Brazil. Are you considering visiting Sao Paulo for your vacation, but you don't know the places that will give you unforgettable memories? You don't need to stress yourself. We've compiled a list of interesting places that are worth visiting in this city. Sao Paulo is the most populous city in Brazil, even in the whole of South America. So if you are planning to visit Sao Paulo anytime soon, you just made a good decision and you won't regret coming because the culture and art in this city are unparalleled, the nightlife is legendary, and the food options are endless. So let's take a look at interesting places on our list. Number 1. The Sao Paulo Museum of Art Haven't you heard about the Sao Paulo Museum of Art? This museum was opened a long time ago and has been recognized as the museum with the highest collections of Western art in Latin America. Inside this museum, you'll see the works of Impressionists and modern masters like Renoir, Van Gogh, Matisse, Manette, Debrit, Picasso, just to mention a few. Although this museum referenced back the works of Renaissance artists, it's one of the first art museums on the continent to focus on artists of the mid-20th century and later, as well as on contemporary artists in Brazil, including Portinari and Di Cavalcanti. Number 2. Football Museum You already know that Brazil is a country of soccer. It doesn't make sense if the country doesn't have a museum dedicated to this leather game. This world-class museum provides insight and information on the game and how it occupies a special place in the heart of all Brazilians. When you talk a walk through the museum, you are going to see galleries with pictures of football legends, hundreds of framed photos, and other treasured memorabilia. If you really want to test your skills as a hotshot player, just take a penalty kick against a virtual goalkeeper to know how good you are. Number 3. Ibirapura Park Ibirapura Park is an interesting place you wouldn't want to miss in Sao Paulo. The drawings and layout were done by architect Roberto Boro Marx, with buildings designed by Oscar Niemeyer. This park is very popular in Sao Paulo and boasts 14 million annual visits. In this park, we also have the Aeronautics and Folk Art Museum, which displays aircraft models and flight equipment on the ground floor, with nearly 20,000 exhibits devoted to folk art and traditions from all over Brazil. Number 4. The Contemporary Art Museum Inside the same Ibirapura Park, there is the excellent Museum of Contemporary Art along with special exhibitions and shows. The museum has more than 5,000 pieces of works that represent a wide range of art schools, from Picasso, Modigliani, and Ledger to leading Brazilian painters Tarsila do Amaral, Anita Malfatti, Portinari, and Di Cavalcanti. Number 5. Avenida Paulista Avenida Paulista is Sao Paulo's center of activity, also regarded as the happening place and a favorite destination for both tourists and locals. This is an ideal spot for people watching from one of the numerous sidewalk cafes. The area is home to many shops, theaters, galleries, and museums, including the Sao Paulo Museum of Art. When you enter the Ave Nida Paulista, you'll see the main avenue used for hosting numerous festivals and celebrations throughout the year. Number 6. The Independence Park The Independence Park is an avenue specially chosen to mark Brazil's Independence Day. This park was designed by an Italian architect called Tommaso Godenzio Bezzi who created an eclectic design modeled on Italian neoclassicism, reminiscent of Renaissance palaces. Inside the Independence Park are large collections of costumes, decor of arts, paintings, and furniture of the imperial period. This park is always crowded in the afternoon and late evenings. Make sure you go in the morning if you want to enjoy your stay. Number 
Number 7. Cathedral Of course, you don't expect a big city like Sao Paulo not to have a cathedral. This old cathedral was built on the site of an older cathedral and took 54 years to complete. Its building was interrupted by two world wars, which made it difficult to get the mosaics and other decorative elements from Italy. It was declared sacred in 1954, on the 400th anniversary of the foundation of Sao Paulo. Although the rest of the church is old however, the interior has several interesting features, including the 10,000 pipe organ and stained glass windows picturing the history of Catholicism in Brazil. This cathedral sits at the historic center of Sao Paulo and is a good place to begin a walking tour of the old town. Number 8. Titro Municipal this place, also regarded as the city theater, has become a major center of attraction after its completion in 1991. As the major center for the performing arts in South America, the theater has hosted performances by internationally renowned singers, dancers, musicians, and performing artists that have included Carla Fracci, Rudolf Nureyev, Titora Fo, Enrico Caruso, Mariah Callas, Arturo Toscanini, Hayder Villa-Lobos, and Mikhail Baryshnikov. Number 9. Bico do Batman If you find yourself in the Vila Magdalena neighborhood, Bico do Batman is a wild and colorful spot that you should visit. Since the 1980s, spray paint artists have been showcasing their innovative work on the walls. The artwork is continually changing, and the creative artists have mastered the color spraying innovations. If you are looking forward to becoming an artist in the nearest future, this is a good opportunity to connect with many artists. If you are interested in meeting some of the artists and having your very own photo shoot with a professional photographer who will take your picture against the colorful murals, consider taking a tour. The photo shoot of Batman's Alley includes 100 photos of you, with the results curated in Photoshop and sent to you digitally in 24 hours. Number 10. Pinacoteca do Estado This museum is the oldest in Sao Paulo, opened in 1905 to showcase the works of Brazilian artists. Its 10,000 works of art include drawings, paintings, and sculptures from the 1800s till the present. Part of the collection is housed in the museum's second location at Pin Estaqueo where visitors will find a memorial to the Sao Paulo resistance, an extensive library of historic documents related to Brazil's political struggles, and many more more examples of Brazilian art. Now that we've come to the end of this video, do you think Sao Paulo is worth visiting? Let us know in the comment section below, and the best commenter will be rewarded with something special. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon, smash the like button, and I'll see you in the next video.